everyone, it's Pauline from Stamp and Stampede, or my Facebook page is Stamp with Pauline. Um, I wanted to go through a quick way I get rid of or use up some retired stock. So I don't like to throw it away or be wasteful. So my idea is to sit and use up all of my pieces and create bunches of cards using retired stock. Some of the ideas I have cased from Pinterest, other ideas I have come up with myself, but I'm going to walk you through how you actually can create loads of cards using up the things you have. Some of these things I have um, laying around only because um, when I've gone to make a card, it isn't exactly what I've wanted to use at the time. So I keep that pre-cut or pre-stamped image and I just make um, things um, and leave them aside and to make these things like more cards. So this is actually a technique and this is the baby wipe technique. So these uh, are leftover stamped images that I had from a card kit class that I've done with my ladies. This one is using the hinge technique that I've used with the Stamper Artist. And then I've just um, showed um, how to use the bare stamp and it's a triple stamp so it's a little bit tricky to use but now with the Stamper Artist it's a lot easier to use. Um, so then I've just pre-cut it and made things and then just added bits of words, bits of embellishment and just made um, loads of cards that you can easily create just using up your supplies. So let's walk through how I've actually done this. So I may need to move the camera a few times but we'll see how we go. So the first thing I have on my desk is my carousel and in my carousel I have all of my tools. So I will have in here um, my glue, my bone folders, my scissors, a couple of blocks, I have some markers, um, some journaling pens, um, rulers, I have adhesive and in the little drawers down here I keep all of my dimensionals and my foam strip and this one I just haven't cut up but that will actually be cut up and put into the little drawers so that makes it a lot easier. What I do when I'm making a card or when I'm sitting down, when I use something, I immediately put it back into the carousel. And the reason I do that is so that it keeps everything neat and tidy on my desk so I don't have to keep moving things and so I'm not looking for things. So as soon as you use something, put it back, pack it away. Um, I know it seems a little time consuming, but trust me, you'll get through a lot more cards a lot faster by just keeping your work area neat and tidy as you go. So in this tray, what I have is cardstock and there'll be punched out images so that I can raise up words. There'll be some scraps, there'll be some whole sheets. And if I choose or need some other cardstock, I can go to my filing cabinet where I have my cardstock and grab another sheet or a particular colour that I haven't had or that I need for a card. I do have another YouTube video of my filing card system and I find that that's worked for me in the last 10 years so I stick to that. So that's the tray of cardstock. The next thing I have is my designer series paper and in my designer series paper here I will have my paper cut to a layer size. So you will be able to um, stick this straight down. Um, so that's what I've done just here. So it's about nine and a half centimetres by about 14 and a half centimetres, give or take, because sometimes I like to have a double layer, like so I will mount it twice on two different pieces. But that's your basics to start with. So the designer series paper is cut and I have them all here. Then I have some six by six that I haven't yet cut. Then I have the glass vellum um, designer series sheets. And then I also have the laser cut um, specialty paper as well. I have in the front the scraps that have come off a six by six or if I have trimmed an, a standard layer size. And I then will be able to create more cards using scraps and bits and pieces so again I have done a video um, or cards on my Facebook page using scraps and I've done that with my ladies for a couple of workshops as well just to show them how to use up these little bits and pieces 
you do get to a point where you will throw little bits of away. It's, you know, you can't keep everything. But I do try and use up most of my things. So that's that. And then in this next tray, what I have is the retiring things that are going. So in little clip lock bags, I have some embellishments, ribbon, um, some foil that's been left over from a kit and some other kit pieces as well. I also have some designer series paper that I actually cut out. I never bought the stamp set for this or the framelits, but what I did was bought the, desi the designer series paper and I have cut it out and I have made cards. So that's another one that's actually just going to go matted onto another card, just for an example. Um, I have pre-cut some balloons. That's um, been old techniques that I have done. There's some leaves and some daisies. I have die cut sticker sheets and leftover um, memories and more card packs as well that I've converted into cards. So there's that. Um, stamp sets that I have not owned, I have actually borrowed and then I've just punched them out so they are to be made into cards as well. Um, some birds and some dragonflies. Then I have the Fox Builder Punch. And when you cut it out, you do get a lot of scraps from that and from the tree as well, from the punches. And so once you then have your pieces, you can make things like foxes and squirrels and lions and mice and skunks and all sorts of things. So they're ready to go onto a card. And then these ones I will actually make into animals uh, as well and use those. Then I have some pre-stamped um, images of, I think it's called them bones. It was a dinosaur stamp that um, Stampin' Up! had, so they will be made into cards as well. This one's just a mixed pack of some designer series paper and some pre-cut stamps, things that I have done with some other techniques. This bag has got some words and some tags in it as well. This um, this set here is all the Christmas. So this is designer series paper and memories and more paper. And then a couple of stamped images as well. And then some more designer series paper. So that will be the Christmas section. So I hope that helps. It's a really nifty way of actually just making through bunches of cards so that you can actually use up your things rather than just tossing it away which we don't ever do and um, yeah so there's lots of different ways that you can actually create and make bunches of cards relatively quick so good luck have fun bye